Last week, on October 16th, the Paris Zoo unveiled its newest attraction, a single-celled organism nicknamed Blob. Being a single-celled organism, it has no brain, or any organs for that matter. No eyes, no stomach, no legs or wings. But despite this, it can still detect food, eat, move across a piece of bark, and display some sense of intelligence. All of this without a brain. It can heal from cuts in just two minutes. I'll be releasing a video next week on how a unicellular organism can heal from damage. It's a video I've been planning on doing since February, and now seems like a pretty good time to do it. But what really caught the media's attention about the blob is that it's got not one, not two, but 720 genders. But how can an organism have so many genders? Humans and most mammals follow a strict XY gender classification. We have two alleles, and we'll either get two X chromosomes, which makes us biologically female, or one X and one Y, which makes us biologically male. With the exception of extremely rare genetic disorders, everyone has two chromosomes that determines their biological gender. Some organisms are more complicated. For example, this fungus right here has two loci, each with different amounts of alleles. Locus A has 288 alleles, while locus B has 81 alleles. A fungus can only be fertile with another fungus if they have a different A and B allele. So if we do the math of 288 times 81, we get 23,328 distinct genders. And one of those fungus can mate with 288 minus 1 times 81 minus 1 of 22,960 different genders.